There are many things that cause a backed-in MSTP network to function slowly and inefficiently. In this series of videos, we're discussing common mistakes people make and ways to solve them. We have some suggestions to help you with your troubleshooting. First, verify the polarity on the communications cable. On KMC controllers, a lit MSTP bulb indicates the polarity is probably reversed. Second, check that all devices have a unique MAC address and device instance. Third, verify that all software device instances are unique for the entire network. Fourth, check that each device on the network has the same baud rate. If you're using a repeater, this should have the same baud rate as well. Fifth, be sure the end of line terminations are switched on only at the beginning and end of the network segment. There should be no intermediate device with the EOL switch in the on position. Sixth, consider switching a suspect non-functional device with the same model working from another part of the system. If the problem persists at the same location, it is likely a wiring issue. If the problem follows the questionable device to the other location, it may be a configuration issue or a problem with the controller. Finally, bifurcate. To narrow possibilities in communication issues, split the network in half and determine whether the device is returned to a normal function. Repeat this procedure until the issue has been located. We've made a video just on this topic and written a guide for more information. You can find the links to the video in the description below. And those are our general troubleshooting tips for avoiding slowdowns on backed-in MSTP networks. For more information about other backed-in MSTP networking issues, please check out the other videos in this series. And to learn more about any of the solutions from the Building Geniuses at KMC, visit us on the web at kmccontrols.com.